Hello, welcome to Vision Academy from Sundar. This is the second lecture on forward contract in the series of lecture over forward contract. In this lecture, I will address profit and loss payoff profile in the forward contract. Okay, so for which let us have a situation. It is better understood by a situation. Look at here. We have a situation here. So Mr. X is a wholesale sugar dealer. In this case, and Mr. Y is a prospective buyer. So Mr. X is a, a sugar dealer, and Y is a buyer. So the current price of uh, sugar on 1st April 2018 was 23 rupees per kg, and Mr. Y is agrees to buy 50 kgs of sugar at 25 rupees. Uh, the per kg after three months exactly after three months means first April first July 2018 so here mr. X is a dealer and Y is a buyer and there is a current price on the first April 2018 that 23 rupees and uh, mr. Y is agrees to buy 50 kg of sugar from mr. X at the rate of 25 rupees per kg after three months so extracting this uh, the information from this so underlying asset in this is sugar underlying asset over sugar mr x and y having a contract and long position since mr y is the prospective buyer here yeah, mr y is a prospective buyer he is in a long position buyer will be in a long position and opposite uh, uh, that opposite uh, reaction to the Mr. Y, uh, y is Mr. X. So, see, so he will be in a short position. So, spot price at the time of contracting the spot price that is current price could be a spot price on 1st April 2018 is uh, 23 rupees. Then spot price is 23 rupees and delivery, pri uh, delivery price. So at 25 rupees, Mr. Y is agrees to buy 50 kg of sugar. So this is a delivery price. Okay, since it is a delivery price, it will be delivery price at uh, for which the Mr. Y and X is agree to uh, commit into a contract. And here forward price, we are not uh, known exactly what is the forward price. Forward price means after maturity after expiration of the contract in the market what is the spa, um, the uh, price of sugar that would be for, uh, forward price it could be 20 or 30 whatever we don't know exactly what will be in the future and after three months after three months it means expiration price expiration date uh, of this contract is 1st july 2018 so to calculate payoff of forward contract whether we want to know whether the loss or profit uh, in this contract so we have we will uh, have this diagram so look at here the share the uh, above this curve anything above this curve will be profit to x and y okay and below this curve is a loss to x and y and Mr. B uh, y is a prospective buyer. Since he is a buyer, he expects the price of commodity will go up in the market. So this is a buyer position. It means he expects the price go up. Okay, it is a buyer pos position. And Mr. X is a sugar dealer, and he expects the price of uh, sugar will go down in the future. So it is what it is a seller position. It means Mr. X position this and Mr. Y position. This is a Mr. Y position. Okay. Uh, uh, after this, so look at here. So here February, March, April. In the April, the current market price is 23 rupees. This is what? This is a spot price. Spot price. So from which, uh, from which the profit or loss will be calculated. And it is a imaginary price we have taken here to calculate as for payoff profile for uh, Mr. X and Y. And this curve that 15, 17, 19, 20, 23, 25 and something like that. This is this curve is spot price of underlying asset at maturity. Uh, at maturity means after three months and uh, 1st July 2018. So uh, 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 at that uh, at that time the price would be 
this 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 uh, axis indicate the spot price of underlying asset underlying asset is sugar at maturity it could be 17 15 19 whatever it could be also 27 29 and 30 31 whatever okay this curve belongs to spot price in the future okay since the mr x is a wholesale dealer he is ready to sell the sugar he expect the price of sugar will go down anything below than this it means it could be 25 rupees 27 rupees 29 rupees 30 whatever in the spot price in the future it is the last to mr x it is last to mr x because he, uh, x and y have taken a contract already whatever the price in the market we, it won't affect your uh, contract so he has to sell his sugar at the rate of 23 rupees only in case it goes to 25 rupees he will lose 2 rupees if in case it goes to 27 rupees he will lose what the 4 rupees in the same way it is a seller position and anything below than this would be loss to the mr x in the same way mr y is a prospective buyer he is in a contract with mr x and anything lesser than 23 rupees or like 23 20 uh, 15 whatever it will be loss to the buyer because in case if he did not have commit the to this contract he could buy at market at 20 rupees in case in the future the sugar price went to 20 rupees then he is better to opt in the market okay not to uh, opt in the contract because if he uh, if he exercise the contract he will lose three rupees per kg uh, rather exercise in the contract he can buy in the market so that he can uh, save three rupees okay so anything below than this will be less uh, loss to buyer okay does this mean one party has to lose not exactly because by limiting losses whether uh, mr x and y he is in the better of his con business control okay let us understand this uh, from a perspective of mr x and y both let's concentrate on mr x will again even the price of sugar is 20 rupees per kg because at the time of entering the contract with mr y mr x did not know what exactly the price of sugar would be after three months okay so by agreeing to sell the sugar at 25 rupees per kg mr x is assured of a certain earning based on which he can now in a better uh, condition in the financial condition in his business okay similarly let us look into the mr y y uh, y point of view why he also knows that he will have to sell out a fixed amount based on the which he can uh, he took uh, contract so that mr y is also in a better control of his position so to ensuring like raw material regular supply of raw material and so on so in this way mr x and y by uh, coming committing into the contract they discovered a price which which uh, which won't affect uh, the market price but they discovered a price based on which they x and y shared the losses with each other they uh, they managed their business risk by committing into this forward contract let us ima imagine on the date of expiry the forward price will be 28 by imagining like they like this let's calculate the payoff profile of um, x uh, and y seller and buyer so i am fixing forward price of the contract uh, at the market and expiry date is 28 so it means mr x position would be like this so it means uh, mr y is agreed to buy 50 kg of uh, sugar at the price of 25 25 rupees the agreed price is 25 it means it will be 1250 it is same for mr x and y okay according to contract obligation he has to exercise this contract at the rate of 25 rupees per per, per kg 
uh, and uh, and the quantity of 50 50 kg okay now it won't affect whatever the things happening in the market okay but if you consider what is happening in the market you can you can calculate your profit and loss and mr x in is in the short position it means selling position he expects in the market the price of the, the, the price of the sugar will go down look at here the price of sugar will go down if the price of sugar came down it will be the last to the seller okay but in this case the forward price that at the time of maturity the sugar price went to 28 rupees okay 28 rupees so 50 kg he is going to sell 50 kg of sugar 28 into 50 kg 1400 rupees now we can imagine if he exercise the contract he is going to lose 150 rupees because if he sell the same sugar in the market he will earn 1400 rupees but if he exercise the contract he will lose 150 ru uh, rupees by uh, getting payment of 1250 rupees because mr x is a is in a short position he expect price of uh, uh, sugar will go down in the future if he if the sugar price uh, went down in the future it is profit to the mr x because in he will not, he, the, uh, the loss won't affect to the Mr. X, because according to contract, Mr. X and Y will exercise the exercise the contract, so it won't affect the market price. In this case, when the sugar price went to 28 rupees, the loss to the uh, Mr. X is 150 because if he is not taken this contract, he could have sold the 50 kg in the market at 28 rupees and he could have earned 150 rupees extra. Now let us know the position of Mr. Y2. He is in a long position. He expects price of commodity will go up. Okay. So same thing, 1,025 rupees into 50. It's an obligated uh, price that uh, uh, the delivery price at which he is getting delivery. So he is paying 1,250 to Mr. X for the sugar and now the spot price uh, forward price went to 28 rupees mr y is in a long position it means by he is in a position he is expecting the price of sugar will go up same thing went up here so 1400 rupees he he, he will uh, get so imagine mr y is not in the contract in that case he has to buy from the market market means at a price of 28 rupees if he bought from the market he could have lose 3 rupees per kg 3 into 50 it is 150 rupees since he is in the contract he will exercise the contract and he will he saves the profit of 150 rupees it does not mean that mr y is earned mr x is lose but by fixing some price the risk is managed risk is shared all among the seller and buyer it is the concept of zero sum game in the derivatives so according to the, which it will happen so derivative is a very useful contract so this is how profit and payoff profile of profit uh, profit and loss will be calculated for my buyer and seller thank you so much please do subscribe to my vision academy youtube channel